During that last session, uh, we looked at English usage and abusage. And I've been around long enough uh, to have seen some remarkable changes in the approach to English. I mean, the way it's used, the way it's punctuated, the whole approach to grammar. I think it's a much, much uh, more relaxed now. For example, there used to be a very clear distinction uh, between written English and spoken English. And to a great extent, that has disappeared. So things should be a lot simpler uh, for copywriters like ourselves. Unfortunately, that's not necessarily so. You see, unless our clients are uh, dedicated totally uh, to the youth market, uh, then we really do have to meet the expectations of a, a wide range of people. And in the business-to-business -business environment, for example, an awful lot of decision makers are towards the greyer end of the spectrum. So we need to meet their needs. And perhaps the one thing that irks more than anything else, certainly the one thing that irks more than anything else, is misuse of the apostrophe. I did cover it in, uh, in that uh, last section of, uh, of the course, but I suspect that you skipped it. It is boring, but uh, come on, take a grip of yourself. We've really got to master this. I'm now going to give you again uh, a few simple steps that you can take. I'm going to eyeball you, so make sure you do it. A few simple steps that you can take to eliminate 98% of the errors that people make with the apostrophe. The first simple step is to recognize that you never ever use an apostrophe to indicate the plural. So if you've got a bunch of bananas, they are not banana apostrophe s. Yes. If the library has got a lot of books, it is not a lot of book apostrophe s, which is perhaps fairly obvious. Uh, but I wonder, have you ever, for the plural of computers, the plural of PCs, to use uh, used PC apostrophe S, the plural of videos, video apostrophe S, that they are easy mistakes to fall into. So I would ask you to burn into your grey cells the simple message that you never use an apostrophe to indicate the plural. So if the apostrophe is never ever used uh, to denote the plural, what is it used for? It's used for just one of two things. That's all. It, it's either used to indicate that you have abbreviated something or it's to show ownership. We're going to look in this area now. This is a very, another very simple step. Uh, you simply use the apostrophe to show that you have dropped a few characters from a word or a number of words. So uh, is not becomes isn't, uh, cannot becomes can't and so on. It, it is as simple as that. We're now going to move on to the area which is a little more uh, taxing, uh, and that is uh, denoting ownership. So now we come to the final step. We've already said that you never ever uh, use the apostrophe uh, to uh, denote plurality. You use it for one of only two things, either to show that you've abbreviated a word or a number of words by dropping characters, or, and this is what we're going to look at now, to denote ownership. So in the English language we use the apostrophe either side of the letter S uh, to show that a person or a thing owns something. One uh, complication in English which isn't true of all languages is that for some reason we also like to show how many people or how many things are doing the owning. So if it's one person owning something the apostrophe goes before the S if it's a number of people, then it goes after the S. So uh, if we take some examples, uh, one boy owning a number of books, it's the boy apostrophe S, one boy owning the books. If it's a number of boys owning the books, then it goes after the S. If it's uh, one nation's strategy, it goes before the S, there's only one nation. If there's more than one nation, it goes after the S. I, that, that is. That is really very straightforward. I don't know why people make such a meal of the whole thing. But from now on, 98% uh, of the time, you're going to get it right. And that brings us to the end. That Now we can say, uh, it's the end of this section. Or should I say, it's the end of this section? 
it's the end of this section.